right, hi y'all. So I figured maybe I would try to vlog a little bit today just because I really haven't vlogged in like quite literally like forever. Um, and I do wanna do like a little bit of like maybe some pregnancy day in the lifestyle videos before the baby comes because when he's here, maybe I'll vlog a little more, I don't know. Um, but uh, I digress. Um, I just got to my doctor's appointment. It is technically my 30 week appointment, but I am 30 weeks and four days for this appointment. Uh, Cause all of my appointments tend to be like a little bit later than they typically would be for a lot of people. Um, and I think it's just because my doctor, like my clinic is super busy. Um, but I just got here. Um, I don't think we do anything exciting for this appointment today. I'm pretty sure uh, it's like a 10 minute appointment, but I feel horrible today. <sighs> it's kind of happened for a couple of nights in a row, but last night was like the worst. Like I was just so like crampy and uncomfortable and my stomach was super hurt all night, which I'm sure is Braxton Hicks. Um, but it was really bad last night, so I didn't sleep at all. So I'm just super like nauseous today. Like I don't feel like I can like eat or drink or anything. Like I just don't feel good, which really sucks. So the last thing I wanna do is come to a doctor's appointment, but I guess technically it's probably a good thing to go to a doctor's appointment when um, I feel horrible. Um, and maybe they can give me some tips for like getting through the night because it's odd because I'm 30 weeks, like, I know that Braxton Hicks really do happen through your whole third trimester, but they've just definitely been kind of, I don't want to say intense, like it's not like they're painful, it's just so uncomfortable and just crampy, and I've had some uh, like pelvic pain that's made it really hard to continue like staying on my workout schedule and stuff, so I've just been super tired. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna head in there, I guess, and just see what I can update on. I don't know what they'll tell me today. Uh, um, I know they'll measure like my uterus or my stomach or whatever. I don't think we do any ultrasounds or anything like that. So I don't know what they'll update me on, but we'll see. So I'm gonna do that. Hopefully I'll feel a little bit better. Um, and then I don't really have plans for today, so. We'll see what happens. I might show you guys a sneak peek of my nursery though because a lot of the stuff came in. So I did put together the crib and the dresser and just a little tiny bit of like the decor. Um, I still have stuff coming and I also haven't put all of it up anyway. Um, but I wanna do like a whole nursery reveal. So I'll probably, I might show you guys just a tiny little, little peek of it when we get home, hopefully. Um, but yeah, my stomach still is just so like tight and I know it's probably also because I'm short so this baby doesn't have room anyway, but oh my god. I haven't even eaten today. It's one o'clock. Yeah, my stomach is like so like just tight. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go in so that um, I am not late to my appointment and I will see you guys in a few. Hi guys, so this is way later than it was supposed to be. This isn't the same day as when I started this vlog, of course. Um, but I'm still probably gonna call it like a day in my life or something or some sort of pregnancy vlog, but um, I just didn't feel good after that doctor's appointment, so I literally like went home and like went to sleep and stuff, so this is now a different day. Um, but I was actually really upset because the doctor that I saw totally did not care about my concerns. I literally told her like how I was feeling and she just kind of like stared at me and walked out the door. So that was kind of like, was not the happiest. So the lighting is bad um, cause of where I am in my house, but I am at the door of the nursery, uh, which I've been working on pretty actively, which I'm really excited about. Uh, it's not done yet, but it actually probably will be done in the next few weeks here. Like I've definitely done a lot to it. Um, and I wanna give you guys a tiny sneak peek. Nothing crazy because I'm gonna do like a whole nursery reveal, I think, when it's like officially completely done. But I wanted to give you guys a little peek of what I've been doing for the nursery and also what I've been doing for starting out my postpartum prep because I started to slowly get that stuff together as well. 
but here's my little sneak peek this is one of the signs that i got for the wall i have quite a few um but this is a peter pan quote it says little boys should never be sent to bed they always wake up a day older and i just thought it was super sweet so i have that we also have the dresser put together which i'm not going to show you guys you know what's going to go on it quite yet of course and although I'm not going to exactly show you the crib yet, <laughs> I will also show you this sign that we have, which I got forever ago, and I actually repainted it myself. It used to be like, um, like a brownish letters in a brown frame, and I repainted all of the letters in the frame gray. That way it can match that sign that I have over there, and I'm going to make sure all of the signs in the room then match. And I also started to put stuff in these drawers. So there's a couple little, little things there and a couple little things. Oh, not in that one. My bad. I think I have, I'll probably do a video showing you guys how I end up organizing this maybe. All right, so I know that's not horribly exciting or like a crazy amount of fun to see, but that's just my tiny little sneak peek. I don't want to show you guys a whole lot because I want it to be like kind of a surprise of what it looks like because I don't even truly know exactly how it's going to look in the end, but I'm excited to put that together. It kind of gives me something to look forward to a little bit. Okay, and now I'm in my bedroom. There's my my dog. Um, I did also want to show you guys a couple things that I grabbed for um, starting my postpartum prep as well because I'm kind of trying to slowly get those products together over the next couple of weeks and then I think I might do like a little mini baby haul at the end of this video so stay tuned. It's all kinds of fun sharing. Um, the first thing I grabbed is I did grab my first set of like sleeping nursing bras. They're really just like super v-neck bralettes so I actually might just end up grabbing um like regular sports bras instead because I don't know I feel like these aren't like very supportive which I get they're not necessarily supposed to be because they are like sleeping style ones but I'll probably end up just grabbing sports bras and stuff but I did grab my first ones because this is just super soft so I'll have it in the hospital with me more than likely um I also grabbed for the hospital two different like pajama items which might sound odd but I don't know I'm such a pajama person I grabbed this like sleep shirt type item as well as this one which this is just a short sleeve t-shirt a sleep shirt and this one is more of like a button up because I know that I'll want to look nice for some pictures at some point but also these are going to be just really nice to kind of labor in and if they get ruined whatever kind of thing. I do have my first little nursing like cami as well because I figured I would try one of those out. Um, I do have a bunch of lollipops because I hear that this is like amazing to have when you are in the hospital and in labor and cannot eat. And then not too exciting, but I have like my granny panty underwear that I just grabbed a big pack of that I need to wash. But I grabbed those because those are basically going to be what gets ruined right after labor and delivery. Alright, so this, since this is vlog style, I figured it doesn't matter if I like actually sit and like set up a whole setup. I can just like kind of make this chill but I do have a little mini baby haul to share with you guys and just a couple items I picked up recently so I'm just sitting in the nursery so I did grab two books over this past weekend when I went to go see my husband so the first one is so cute it's a board book and it's called too many carrots and then we also grabbed the book mother bruce which is really cute looking I think there's actually some like sequels to it or like you know like follow-up books but um since our nursery does have a bit of a like rustic woodlandy kind of theme I thought it'd be cute to have some black bear stuff around so I was specifically looking for a book that would have like a black bear on it so grabbed that this is the first one that I grabbed which I think is super precious um this will be um, one of his like first few outfits probably I'm sure it's so cute um, I don't remember prices on any of these but it's the whole point of the website is that it's fairly cheap um, and then for like the kind of three to six month style clothes I did grab a little set which this one is like the diaper cover and 
a shirt, which I can't decide if this is a little bit girlier looking than I thought it was going to be. But I figure on basically a newborn baby, I feel like it shouldn't matter. Like it shouldn't really look super girly, I hope. Um, but I thought it was really, really cute. And I love these like muted colors. I love the linen. And since his first couple of months will be like in the fall time, I just thought these would be like really, really cute. Um, going along with that, I also got this yellow onesie, which is a, um, I want to say long sleeve long pants I don't know this is what it looks like and I just thought that'd be super cute to have again just for the fall and stuff I just love how these feel like it feels kind of like muslin-y and I, I love it um, and then I also did grab this one which is the same as the other but it's sleeveless and it's just a nice like muted green color. I just love these colors for the fall. And I also love them for little boys because I know if I was having a girl, it would probably be like all pink and nothing but pink. So I kind of am getting that opportunity to use a lot of those fall colors that I really love uh, with having a boy. Um, I also grabbed this one, which this one is a bigger size. So this will be for later, but it is just a really nice white one, which is long sleeve. Um, but that should be good because uh, he'll probably fit in this sometime like next like January, February, something like that more so based on what the size looks like. So I just thought it was really cute looking. And then I also grabbed this little set which is just a t-shirt. I love these t-shirts with the little buttons. I absolutely love them. Um, and it comes with a set of overalls which are also pretty cute. I mean, they're just cloth overall, so they're, it's just a nice, simple outfit. And again, I love these colors. The only thing I'm worried about is I don't know if he's going to be a big baby or not, so if he's super chubby, it might be a little hard to squeeze into these uh, by the time he's in like this size, but we will, we will try and make it work because it's super cute. All right, you guys, so that is it for this little mini baby haul. Um, I also might end the vlog right here. Uh, I don't really know how much footage I have, but I, it's just kind of a regular old pregnancy vlog of just sharing with you guys random pregnancy things that didn't make it into regular videos. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to see on my channel, whether it's with pregnancy and baby stuff, but also different lifestyle and beauty as well. Um, be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to post three days a week. It's getting a lot harder um, the closer we're getting to baby just because of how I'm feeling, but I'm working on it, I swear. So subscribe, let me know what you want to see, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.